Alright, welcome. This video is here to explain a new method found for CMI swapping by Discord user at IPITYI with the tag 9941. All credit for this discovery goes to them. First, follow and understand the CMI swapping tutorial made by Ops. This GUID CMI swapping method is partially based on that, though not fully. The first step is to figure out the placement of new parts around the car via the mesh editor, as well as replacing the CMI, but not touching the race vehicle blueprint. Using this process, it is possible to have, for example, two or more spoiler options in one single mod. Figure out how everything fits together first, and then move on to the next step. So this is the first step right here. Just figure out how everything fits together, how everything works, and change the CMIs around, like I already did here. So you need to send spoiler, Hawaii parts. Once you're done with that, scroll up in the directory and find items, expand that and go to the car you're working on. In my case, it's the S15 Sylvia. So let me find it right here. So I'm going to be swapping spoilers. So I'll go into spoilers. And what I'm working on is DD, DH, DP, and DQ. In each of these, you're going to find mesh blueprint permutations. Expand that, expand zero. If there's more, just expand those and do the same thing I'm about to do here. So add one if there's nothing here. And if there's something here, insert before on the zero, so you make a new zero. So in here, this is where you're going to be changing the GUIDs around. Uh, you're going to get the GUID from here, from the car's parts. Sadly, you can't copy it in this version of the editor, but supposedly it's being fixed, so it'll, poss it'll probably be uh, doable in the future. But for now, you kind of just have to copy the GUID sound somewhere, like I did. Very painstaking. Anyways, come back here, slap that into there, and expand the transform menu. So in the transform menu, you're going to be putting what you would normally put in the race vehicle blueprint. So copy and paste. And you're going to do the same for the rest of these. I'm just going to do that really quickly. And once you're done replacing all the GUIDs, just again, come back here, grab the transform values, and paste it into the transform table. And once you're done with that, you're pretty much done. Just export it to a mod. Go to your mod manager. It's right there. Uh, most priority and one sheet. And doing this method, there's a lot more intricacies that we still haven't found out about yet because, you know, it's a new method. We're still working on that. One issue, one known issue about this method is that while you can swap the placements of exhaust, the exhaust effects won't line up. We're currently working on that. And I'll release a follow up if we find any solutions to that. But for now, it's just useful for parts such as diffusers, spoilers, like I just did. Um, pretty much anything that doesn't have a chassis attached to it, like bumpers and fenders. 
Uh, if you want to change around bumpers and fenders, like I just mentioned, uh, just do it the normal way, like Ob showed you. And right now on the S15, I have the stock spoiler in in shit, installed. Once it loads up, I'll just show you what it's also, uh, what options there are. Here we go. So this is one of the ones I swapped. It's the Ford GT acrylic spoiler. Next is the GTR's Rocket Bunny wing. Uh, this is the Huayra default wing. And over here is the STI default wing. It doesn't crash the game at all. There's all one mod file. That's it. I also go on a drive just to show it doesn't crash or anything. It's perfectly fine. Probably. Yeah. Alright, that's pretty much it.